Give me a live look now at the state capitol building. People are gathering after that verdict came down earlier today. That's where we find CBS 13 Steve Large talking to his local contacts in the political arena. So, Steve, what are they saying about this? Well, my marching orders today were to talk to Republican office holders, people in the Republican Party. So I did that. Uh, my first stop was with the uh, former Trump California campaign chair Doug Osi. We often go to him for his insights in politics, and he's always willing to share them. I asked him, uh, what does he see the Republican Party doing from this point forward after the verdict, and what does this impact have on him, this verdict, on whether he supports Donald Trump? Does this verdict change your support and how you plan to vote for Donald Trump? Were you going to vote for Donald Trump before the verdict? Are you going to vote for him now? So I've tweeted for some time now about my dissatisfaction amongst the, about the choices that are being presented to us. I continue to be dissatisfied with the choices. And frankly, as I tweeted before, it's enough to make me look at RFK Jr. So there you go, you have a one-time chair of the Trump campaign for California. He is now saying that he no longer supports uh, President Trump, uh, former President Trump and current Republican candidate Trump. Also, the California Republican Party issued a statement uh, following the guilty verdict, and I'm just going to read a brief part of it. It says, uh, the verdict never should have happened. That's the official California Republican Party that just issued that statement. I also talked to a Republican Assembly member, Bill Asaley, uh, who is also a Trump supporter, and he doubled down for that support following the verdict. I'm going to tell you right now, I am more committed to my support of President Trump after today's verdict. I am a delegate at the GOP convention. Regardless of what happens at his sentencing, I will be nominating and voting for President Trump as the next president of the United States. And I'm going to tell you right now, today's verdict is not the important one. The only verdict that matters is the one on November 5th. So remember, this verdict just coming down about four hours ago. We're just seeing the very first messages from the Republican Party, officially and unofficially. And right now you're seeing a variety uh, of responses to our questions. Again, Doug Osi, one time adamant supporter, now out of the Trump uh, camp. And then you have Bill Asaley, who is doubling down.